I think one of the questions that comes up is, you know, what is the role of um, doing a biopsy if something is worrisome on an ultrasound or if something is worrisome, a finding that's unusual on a CT scan? How do we sort of counsel patients about that? Yeah, I think that's a wonderful question because sometimes we talk to our patients about going straight to the operating room for a big surgery. Other times we talk about doing a biopsy and that's often done with our interventional radiology colleagues. And it's done either with CT scan or ultrasound. And a lot of this is gonna depend on what we see on those pictures or those imaging tests that CAT scan or an ultrasound. If all that we see is just a cyst or a mass on the ovary, and we don't see anything else that's worrisome for any cancer cells or tumors outside of that ovary. In general, we are not going to biopsy it. And by biopsy it, I mean put a needle into it. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to rupture or open that mass if there's cancer cells in there. And your doctor or your surgeon may talk about going right to the operating room so that we can take that entire mass out without spilling any of the cysts or solid parts into the abdomen or pelvis. But if we see what looks like tumor nodules, either on the lining of the abdomen and the peritoneum, or particularly in this kind of fatty carpet or apron that hangs off your bowel that's called the omentum, we may say, we need to know what this is. Does this look like an ovarian cancer? Could this potentially be a different type of cancer, like a colon cancer or a cancer that came from your gallbladder? And we might want that piece of information before we start treatment to make sure that one, you're getting the right surgeon if surgery is the first step, or if we think that chemotherapy might be needed, that we make sure that you get the right chemotherapy. And so a biopsy is going to help your doctors know exactly what we're dealing with so that you get the right treatment. 